and welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Gotta be an 11. Wow, I've never seen one that big. <laughs> Sun is coming up, Bob is going down. Look at that. Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go, it's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting, might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, I hope you enjoy the show. Get a load of that. Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of LT Outdoors. And this one is something a little different. It's the very first ice fishing adventure of the season. That's right, we got ice up here up north. Um, some of the little lakes are starting to ice up real nice. Got some decent ice on some of the bigger lakes on some of the bays. It's time to get out and start checking. But yeah, had a good day out here on the ice. First ice pan fish. Going to get home and do some cooking on them. Hope you guys enjoy this episode. Had a blast. Caught a lot of fish. Tell you what, lake effect lures, RBM jigs. Killer, guys. They work great. So hope you guys enjoy this. Hit that subscribe button. Oh, baby. Hey, that's a big sunfish. Yeah, I'll take that. Got him on the plastic. Chrome polka dot with the nice pink body pat plastic, man. I'll take it. Yep, first fish on the RBM for Shane. Oh yeah, that's a monster. That's a big bluegill there. Beautiful. On that polka dot. Oh, oh, that's a rod bender. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a horse. I'll take it. Yeah, that's nice. He had that rock back right over. Just a little one, but first crop of the day. Hammering these things. Big sunfish. They love this tadpole looking thing. Too high up now. I think there's a school coming up. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> oh look at that, dude. That's 
the giant. Okay, you are the amber. Wanna try one of these plastics? real stop right there. Oh. He actually got the plastic. Got his first one there on an RBM plastic. Oh God. That's what we're talking about. RBM all the way with a red tadpole. The one baby. so many more down there too oh yeah they gobble that thing right up oh, dang that's a bruiser this is bigger but still a good fish We're just hammering them. There we go. Look at that. Ooh, that's a good one. There was four inches out there on Whiskey Bay. Look at that. <laughs> Big fish. Nope. Another nice kill. RBM all the way. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, that's a pig there. Ooh. Nope. Yep. That's a good fish, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Doubled up on the giants. Nice. Yep. Oh. oh, maybe not. Might be a crappie. He was way up high. Oh, it is. <laughs> oh, I would take that all day. He swallowed it. That's a big fish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there we go. There's our final fish, guys. Oh, baby. <laughs> That's how limits are made, right there, guys. That's right, lake effects lures, RBM jigs, getting the job done today, folks. That's a darn good limit right there. I'm gonna show you guys what we got on the ice. Time to get off, we got her done. <laughs> All right, guys, as you can see here, that's the end of today's total. That's a uh, 25 Michigan limit. Got some beautiful crappies. Big bluegills, a couple nice sunfish. Just a good day. That's always a great day when you can get a nice limit of panfish like that, especially on an ultralight rod. Some new tackle, RBM Lake Effect is killer. All right, everybody. I had a fun day today on the ice. It is hard to beat first ice, especially for the panfish bite. Um, I mean, just about everything goes crazy for first ice, but I got to tell you guys, I had a blast today. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, I'm getting ready to cook now so I can enjoy the spoils from today. I am got this much put aside, which that's only about a half of it, maybe not even half. And then I've got my seasonings here. Um, I actually, I like to use this Louisiana stuff. My favorite is Bearden's. The only place I can ever find Bearden's is, is at Wellman's, and I don't have any right now. And then Crooked Bend, I always use their garlic pepper salt. I use this on everything, and what I do is when, uh, when, I, when I'm done frying the fish and I got them on a plate with a paper towel, I shake the garlic pepper salt all over them. 
great stuff. So yeah, getting ready to do that. And also need a gallon freezer bag because that's what I shake them up in. So once this brand new deep fryer that I got for Christmas is done heating up, we're gonna get to cooking. All right, I put my flour, my seasoned flour in there. I throw all my fish in there and I shake them up real good. This is all nice and hot and ready to go. I'll tell you what, it's hard to beat fresh oil. And what I do, I'll tell you, you could grab a handful and throw them in there, but that's gonna cause a problem. You can get a couple at a time, but you need to be able to lay these things out singularly, because if they pile up together, they're not gonna cook right. You want them to all get cooked through the right way, so I make sure I put them in one by one. That is the best way to get a fully cooked, well-cooked fish fillet. These are gonna be so darn good. I'm starving, guys. I haven't eaten all day, and all I've been thinking about is eating these fish that I caught. They look so good coming out of the water. But I'm gonna get this full here. I'm gonna put a paper plate down with some paper towel. And uh, these will be coming out in just a minute. Beautiful golden brown. I'm talking about right here folks mm. LT Outdoors has been brought to you by RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Everything for the serious ice fishermen. Sportsman's Connection. Mapping the outdoors since 1992. Wellman's Bait and Tackle. Check them out in Oscoda, Michigan. Cowboy Coffee Chew, a cup and a pinch. Crooked Ben, the leader for food plot mixes here in Michigan. And Bass Brother Lures and Baits on Facebook. Excellent trapping lures and baits. And Shelly's Shirt Shack, where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made. <laughs>